My time has come, my son. You must heed my words before I'm gone. Please don't leave us so soon, your highness. Samunda needs you. Oh, shut up, Simi. You don't have to suck up to me anymore. I'll be dead soon. Why couldn't it be you, Simi? Yes, your majesty. His life is far too worthless. His death would make me smile. Baba. The throne must pass to a male heir. Yes, father. A male heir. Once again, I apologize to you for all of the shame and disappointment that my offspring's genetic makeup has caused you. My son, it appears that your shortcomings in masculinity have turned out to be unfounded. I seen it in a vision. You got a son. It is true. You have a son, Hakim. A bastard son. That is impossible. The only woman I have ever lain with is Lisa. Father, I did not sow my royal oaths. Sammy! Hmm? Tell Hakim the truth at once. Remember in Queens, night after night, you were looking for the perfect woman? Yes. Well, I too was, how can I say this? I was looking for the perfect vagina. Or any vagina. Girl, we scoured the far reaches of that loathsome city, searching rather unsuccessfully for the woman of your dreams. My name is Jesus, and I'm the best. All the DJs want to feel my breath. But I've been watching you all evening, and I want to tear you apart. And your friend, too. I am going to mingle. I had had enough, and I realized if I was ever going to sow my oats on American soil, I was going to need to find someone to take care of you. But don't worry, I never broke my oath of keeping our identity a secret. A prince? Yes, a prince. But he cannot know that you know who he is. We are undercover Africans. Oh, that's good, baby. You ain't got to lie like that to get some of this ass. But you know what? I'll bump uglies with your homeboy. Just let me go throw up real quick. And uh, and then we can, you know, get it cracking. I may not have been thinking straight. In my defense, it had been weeks since the last time I was tended to by the royal bathers. But at the time, it seemed like a good plan. Mm. I hope you like a uh, pumpkin pie, because you're going to get a whole slice. That is not what happened, Father. I remember meeting this morally bereft woman, but there was no inappropriate mating. She offered me some of her ceremonial herbs. <coughs> Then if memory serves, a wild boar burst into the room. He came and jumped into my lap, and then he began to run me, and run me, and run me, run me, run me, run me, and I found him. You fool! What have you done to me? Go on, son. Just kill him. Kill him! So I actually have a son? A bastard son. 